Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to build your own business website on Squarespace in 2021. Now before we get into the video, I'll drop a link where you can check out more details about this and receive special discounts if you want to pick up your own Squarespace plan. All right, so let's get into the video. Now, if you are at all familiar with Squarespace, you know it's a very versatile website builder and super easy to use overall. People use it to build almost anything and a lot of different sizes of websites. And one of the websites I see people want to build a lot of is actually a business website, like a website for your small town business or something like that. If you want to build that, I am going to be walking you through how to do that in today's tutorial on Squarespace. So as you can see, I am here on my dashboard and I'm just going to go ahead and hit create website. So from here, it's going to pull up my website templates and I can pick the type of website which I want to have. So what we're going to do is, as you can see, they actually let me pick the topic, which is going to be a local business. This is really nice and it lets me select a website which I like for my local business. So if I find one, if I find one that looks really good, I can select it and post it and I can edit it and modify it, but it's essentially kind of customized for local businesses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be creating, let's say a restaurant business. So I like this theme right here and we're gonna go ahead and hover over it and hit start. Now, once that loads, it's going to load for a bit, but once it loads, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert the site title because it always requires the title of your site. And then we're just going to skip the rest of the tutorial because you don't need that since I'm going to be walking you through how to build it. Now, as you can see, I titled my website. I'm just going to hit continue and then next, next and next one more time. From here, we have the website pulled up right here, right in front of me, ready to edit. So as you can see, it says best burger in Brooklyn right now. You know, it's customized for a certain theme, but it's not customized for me, at least not yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go through and obviously edit it a bit and modify it so it works for me. Because I'm all about ease of use, I'm all about making it as easy for you to get your website up and running as possible. So we're going to do that now. Now what you're going to do to edit this text is you're going to go ahead and click edit this little edit button right here. Click that and it's going to pull up the website. Now from there, all you have to do is you just click on the text to edit it. It is that simple. So as you can see, I click on the text and now I can edit it if I want. I can do that. I can do other things. I can click all around and edit any of these boxes which I need to. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that now. Now, as you can see, I went ahead and customized this area, but let's say I want to change a few things about it. What we're going to do is we're going to select the section instead. You can do this by just clicking on the background of it and it'll let you select that section. So we're going to select this section and we're going to hit edit this little edit section button right next to it. Now from here, we can change a few things. For example, we can change the section height. Now I like it pretty high, so I'm going to leave it right around here. Um, we can also change the content width if we want. So if we want the text wider like that, which I do, so I'm going to change that. You can change the content alignment as well and the background and the colors. Now let's say I wanted a different background. I actually don't, but you could change it. You just navigate to the background tab and then pick replace on this image so you can put a custom image. You can also change the overlay opacity if you want your text to stand out more as you can see right there. So I'm going to change that a bit to around right there and I think that looks good. Now you can change the image effect if you need to but we don't want to because there's no reason to. Now let's go to the colors and from here what you can do is you can select the colors of your fonts and all of that and you can edit them if you need. But for this, for me, this looks good so I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to go ahead and edit all the other sections of my website. As you can see, this right here is actually a slider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to edit the slider. What you're going to do is you're going to hit this little image icon once you have the section selected and you can choose images and add them to the gallery in your slider box. So what you can do is you can pick different images and put them in this slider and um, add new images and remove images as you need. What you can also do is you can hit edit on the slider to edit some of the settings of the sliders, like the controls, the captions, the autoplay, the slide duration, and the animation. You can also edit the colors if you need. If you have a text or a caption, you can edit those as well. 
Now let's say I didn't offer any wine or beer and I wanted to remove this section from my website. It's as simple as hovering over this selection, hovering over this section, and hitting the delete button right here. If I hit that delete button, it just goes away once I hit remove, and then I don't have that on my website anymore. So as you can see, my website's already looking incredibly good, very easy to use, very nice. Now if I want to add a section, all I have to do is scroll to wherever I want to add it, and hit add section, at which point I can pick a section I want. For example, let's say I wanted to add a location, I could click location and then add a nice little map area so people can see where my business is located. So I'm just going to do that now and as you can see, I already have a map on my website so people can visit me if they want. If I want to edit it, I can also change the content width to medium or small depending on the size I want it to be. I like medium, so I'm going to leave it there. And then let's say I wanted to adjust the width between these, I could make the map smaller and make the visit us area larger if I needed to. So it's really customizable, really easy to use, super nice as you can see. Now once we're done with the home page, we're going to go ahead and hit done and hit save. Now once we save it, we can edit the other pages as well just by going to the pages area and then clicking on the different pages we want to edit. For example, the menu page or the reservations page if we want or the page our story. Now we also have the home page right here so we can edit all of them if we want and change the navigation menu if we need by just clicking the plus right here and adding a page we want. For example, if we wanted the home to be linked in our main navigation, we could just click and drag the home right in front of our story and as you can see it shows up on my navigation menu. Once you're done editing all the pages though you can also edit the header and the footer as well by just hitting edit again and then hovering your mouse over the site header and hitting edit site header. From here it will let you edit the site header so you can change the logo, the site title, the elements, the colors, and the position and all that jazz. So then if you want to edit the footer, same thing you need to do is just scroll down to the footer and go ahead and hit edit footer when you hover your mouse over. From here what you can do is you can obviously edit your social links if you need to, you know, change where they link to because right now they just link to the Squarespace social links. So by that you would just click there and then click and change the link. But I'm not going to do that right now. You can also change the address obviously, the phone number and the email by just clicking and editing and then change the made with Squarespace if you want to. Once you're done, of course, you just hit done and you go ahead and go back home. So as you can see, it's super simple, super easy to use, and it's really nice to set up and really easy to set up as well. Now, if you do want to publish it, all you have to do is go ahead and go over to the settings, go over to the site availability and hit public. From there, your site is up and ready to view for your customers. Well, that's going to do it for this tutorial. As you can see, it is incredibly simple to set up a website for your customers on Squarespace.com. Honestly, one of the easiest things you can do, and that's why I heavily recommend using Squarespace if you want to build your own website. It is super simple and super easy to do, and honestly, I recommend it highly. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions about this tutorial, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to respond. Also, just a reminder that I do have a link in the description if you want to check out more details about this or get special discounts when you are picking out your Squarespace plan. Well, thank you for watching. Till next time and have a great day.